My name is Alexandra Terry. I am the chief curator at the Museum of Contemporary Art Santa Barbara. We have been serving the community of Santa Barbara since 1976, and we're here to really bring a platform of creative discourse, inclusivity, and diverse voices, creating a space where everybody has the ability to explore their creative side and to come together as a community. Hi, my name is Debbie Peterson and I'm a trustee with MCASB. The vision of MCASB is threefold. It's to connect with our community, serve and impact the community through contemporary art. I want our community to know that we're here in Paseo Nuevo on the second floor. I think a lot of people don't know we're here and that we are here bringing world-class art from all over the world right in our community and I hope that everybody will come visit. Hi, my name is Laura Macker Johnston and I am the Museum of Contemporary Art Santa Barbara Board President and CEO. I've been involved with the museum for several years now. My first interaction with MCASB was as an ambassador and in that capacity I represented the interest of the museum in the community and helped to bring more people involved in committee work as well as membership. So after um, getting to know the museum as an ambassador, I joined the fundraising committee and worked in that capacity for several years and that led to becoming a trustee and increased involvement at the board level. I've worked at this museum since 2015, so six years. <laughs> and uh, it's been really interesting and amazing to see the ways in which we've We've communicated with our own community, the ways in which we've connected with our community, and um, over these six years, you know, it's been the the expanse of exhibitions and the, the artists that we've been able to bring here, the programming, the performances, uh, the teens that we've connected with, and been able to see them grow to other fellowships and programs, um, but also how those programs can connect with our community further and give opportunities to to those in our. Uh, um, community that may not have been given opportunities to in the past and it's amazing to to be a part of something like that within this community you know a small staff a nonprofit just here to serve and here to give and it's really amazing to be a part of that for this community specifically so as a nonprofit arts institution we work with artists in so many capacities and artists at different stages of their career, artists at different stages of their lives, and there are different relationships that can actually blossom into other relationships. You know, we have an exhibition program that features three to four exhibitions a year, and that can be solo exhibitions with one artist or a group exhibition like our upcoming show. Um, so that's one way that we work with artists. We also invite artists who live in the region to give presentations at the museum, to open their studios to different groups and to talk about their work. We work with teaching artists to lead our workshops and to speak to school groups. We also create collaborations yearly where we identify artists who are making a significant contribution to our community and ask them to create, um, you know, in the past it's been a towel or t-shirts or a catalog, but something that we can help to produce and put out into the community. And ultimately it um, contributes to the museum financially. It's almost a donation from those artists who are giving their time and really want to support us in supporting other artists. The museum's educational programs, um, we've got something for everybody, which is really ex an exciting opportunity for our community. There's, there's family programming, so children and, and their parents can come and do workshops. And then as far as you know, the high school age, we've got something called Teen Arts Collaborative. Uh, which is something that, you know, we've got, I think we actually are just starting pretty soon for another round of that. It's a couple months during the school year. 
Uh, and then for the college age and above, we've got um, Emerging Leaders in the Arts, or ELA, which is um, for people of color who are interested in museum leadership. So we bring a group of people into the museum and we provide all sorts of different trainings. Uh, it's curatorial trainings, professional development trainings. We meet with museum leaders of various levels and we visit museums sometime in LA and San Francisco. Um, but there's uh, also volunteer programs. At every stage, you're able to get involved in some way and there's something for everybody as far as educational programming, which 